The next round in the invasive species debate has begun. This is being called one of the most controversial and fiercest debates in all of science today. The debate over the concept invasive. And in 2024, scientists have just published the latest round in this brawl. And it is a brawl. Scientists on both sides are publishing papers accusing each other of ethical violations, bullying, and logical fallacies. In previous rounds, leading researchers, including the guy who wrote the book on invasion biology, published in the world's most prestigious biology journal that we should not judge species based on their origin. According to a poll of peer reviewers, this critique of the term invasive has become the consensus of biologists. So, some fired back that invasion biologists do not judge species based on their origin, but on the concept of whether doing their, they're doing harm, like causing extinctions or declines in biodiversity. So to counter that point, a team of leading ecologists published a study that found systemic and persistent bias against all introduced species based on their origin rather than harm. Especially in the United States, where critics say pesticide companies have an undue influence on the science. In fact, they found that whether or not a species did harm had no impact on invasion biologists calling it invasive or not. In fact, unharmful species were slightly more likely to be called invasive than the 100 most damaging species. In response, the founder of the field of invasion biology fired back with some of his colleagues with literal mockery, literally mocking the title of the study. In a shocking reversal, instead of denying that invasion biologists were biased, he builds the case that we should be biased against all non-native species, doubling down on something that other scientists have said was a logical fallacy. But what do we conscientious non-scientists who are stuck in the middle of this feud do? Well, for now, the middle ground and probable scientific consensus is that, for one, we should stop trying to demonize invasive species. As an activist and educator, I've listened to the scientists who've requested we stop using the term. At the same time, we should still be responsible about problematic species and protecting native species. But we should focus on broader measures of ecosystem health, like increasing biodiversity, building soil health, increasing water sequestration, increasing tree coverage. Instead of just mindlessly going to war with so-called invasives and thinking that's enough, 